why is your whole simussy out? Like, what? I would be making that face too if I lost my pants. You better find them. My name is Simply Nay, or you could just call me Nay for sure. And today I'm showing you guys a current household. So this is Lizbeth, and with a passion for writing, Lizbeth wants to become a self-publishing author. She enrolled in university to work towards getting her language and literature degree. However, trying to juggle school, drafting her upcoming books, and getting some extra cash from her freelance job is who would have guessed it very hard obviously she also struggles to find time for her side hobbies which are practicing wellness and reading and i think it's time for her to start investing in her own yoga equipment and start doing everything at home but she avoids doing that because she's a loner she doesn't have friends and she stays cooped up in the comfort of her own home so going to the gym to do some yoga is an opportunity for her to be outside this is my girl Lizbeth Corley pretty sure that's her last name yeah Lizbeth Corley she's a bookworm creative neat and well let me even pause this and she <laughs> She gained the ambitious and loner traits from self-discovery, and she gained the spa membership from choosing a wealth, a wellness aspiration, but I changed it to the writing aspiration. Dang, she's typing fast, but right now she's working on her term paper for college, for university, and as you can see, she's doing four classes. Let's pretend there's other universities outside of Brychester. But she previously lived in Willow Creek and was commuting to class by train every day. And she also took three classes her first semester, so her schedule wasn't as full and she didn't have to go into class as often. But after the first semester, she moved to San Myshuno to be closer to school. And she loves her apartment. She decorated it to fit her style. And let me, let me zoom out for y'all. And as you can see, she loves the color pink. Like, let me turn on all the lights. Oh, she finished it. Well, she finished the draft of it. Okay. Let me turn on all the lights. Yeah, as you can see, her house is very pink. Pink and black, per se. Pink and brown, mostly. I tried to go for a pink and brown scheme for her. What is she doing? Honey. Stop troll. She's. Oh my gosh. Stop trolling. Why can't I click on the computer? What's going on? Game, stop messing with me. Please. You know what? We're gonna take out her... Her little meditation poof. Okay. Not the game embarrassing me. After I just came back from a short hiatus, like... Hello? You see, even, even her meditation poof... Is... What's it called? Pink. Girl, come meditate before school before class i mean her first class is at like 1 30. on pause lizbeth come meditate and stop trolling oh she's playing the video game now. okay let me get back to what i what i was saying switch into your yeah there you go as i was saying she loves her apartment she decorated it to fit her vibes her neighbors though they're a bit annoying Elizabeth likes to be alone, but her neighbors always wants to hang out and get to know her. Like, she even, when the welcome wagon came over, she turned off all her lights and pretend she wasn't home to let them leave. One of her neighbors is a gym trainer who always comes over and asks to work out, while another one is a chef and always comes by and tries to raid her fridge. Like, sir, you are a chef. Cook up your own food. But Lizbeth is trying her best to be more social with them at her own pace. She did walk out once and greet one of them. And she actually took up her neighbor, Abigail, offer of working out. So they went to the gym together. I think after that, Lizbeth became more 
comfortable around Abigail because she doesn't get tense around her anymore like she does when meeting new people. She also agreed to hang out and invited her in her home, I think, a couple days ago. But yeah, now they're like, I wouldn't say besties, but they gained a sentiment that they enjoyed each other's, like, what's it called? Company. Like I said, she is drafting of books. She wrote about 10 books already. I don't know, like 10 or... She's written a lot of books. Most of them she self-published, but others were for her freelance job that I haven't touched in a while because she's been so busy with... I was getting notifications. Oh, not her class starting soon. But yeah, she's been so busy with school that she hasn't gotten a chance to pick up a new gig in a while but she makes look at her she makes a lot of money off her royalties let me see if i can find like you see look how many books one two three four five six seven yeah seven so that means three books has gone to freelance writing but let's find a new gig actually and I try to go for like the bigger gigs for the bigger payouts because I don't think she wants to stay in San Maestruna for too long. She wants to get her degree and then like get out of here. She does have the want or is it a whim? I think it's a whim to finish writing a book. So I think we're going to write a book like for herself. But we also have to do the freelance gig. Oh, I didn't read it though. I forgot to read, like, the thing, like, the description of this book. But we have to chat with a client, write a bio, yeah. biography, and, y'all, it is pronounced biography. Please forgive me. I was running on barely any sleep. Get our book approved. But, girl, go to class. So, Elizabeth is back home from school with all her homework done. Yeah. And, oh, there's one of her... There's her neighbor right here. Ab well, this is Abigail, the neighbor that she got close with. And this is Raj, who keeps asking her to let him in so he can raid her fridge. Like, sir, you're like a five-star chef or something, and you're over here begging for scraps? Like, you need to be making us food. I'm saying that, like, Lizbeth didn't let them in for the welcome wagon. Like, girl... Elizabeth classes. She has four classes this semester. This is her second. No. Which semester is it? I think this is her. Okay, how many credits? She has seven credits. Let's do the math. Seven credits. Seven plus four. That's 11. So next semester, she's only going to do one class. Because the way I had to like make her classes... And like her first semester, like I said before, she had three classes because she didn't want to keep going into the city every day for class. Like it's such, it's so tedious. But oh, resume. Oh, we could resume. I didn't. Need, I forgot she was writing a book. But you see, it's six p.m. on fr on a Friday, and it's sunny and nice out. Well, oh, and they got the Spice Festival going on. Elizabeth, we should go out. Well, not go out, but we should, like, check what's going on. But you can see it's also, like, a little holiday, and she ignores, like, basically all the traditions because she's a loner. But as I was saying, I forgot what I was saying before, but I did say she's not going to stay in San Mashuno for too long. Well, I hope I said that. But I think when she graduates, she might move to, like, Windenburg or something. Get her own house. But she needs to, you know, stack up on her bread. Because 16000 ain't getting her nowhere in Windenburg. I feel like Windenburg, in my opinion, is, like, one of the best worlds for your sim to, like, I wouldn't say retire, but, like, settle down in, like, a calming environment. Because we all know the city ain't common. And I know that from personal experience. We could hold off on that book for now. But let's chat to the client. Be like, hey, join the Zoom call. I'm ready to talk when you are. So what do you want me to talk about in the book? 
what specific things do you want me to talk about? How long do you want the book to be? Is that Abigail? I don't know. But which one? I think. Okay. Ah. We're gonna invite her in definitely. Mm. What is she wearing? I think she was at the spice festival. Cause why is she wearing this? I swear these situational outfits has to go like. Sims, why did you? Why did you make that a thing? She's fine in her original outfit. It's hot, so we go put her in her hot weather. Period. Cute. Okay, when when Abigail's done, we're gonna agree to hang out. Abigail, no, when Lizbeth is done talking to her clients. She's gonna agree to hang out. Also, Lizbeth did become like a I say I'd say uh a, a one-star celebrity at some point because i had her like because she was drafting up so much books that she was self-publishing them back to back to back wait did abigail leave oh she left uh, abigail probably knocked on her door and like yelled so elizabeth can hear and she was like hey you should come downstairs there's like a whole event festival going on and you should try the food like the food is mad good and Lizbeth one thing about Lizbeth she loved food but I just know this is gonna be hard for her cuz she's around so much people but let's see if she can win the challenge actually I've had like two sims beat the challenge let's see let's see Lizbeth are you a trooper Maybe. May wait, maybe. Hold on. Okay, Elizabeth. Okay, wait, nah. You almost made it though. She is this Raj? Raj come after her and like, hey, every time when I knock on your door, you're like never home. What is that about? Yeah, he's like asking that question, like, why are you never home? And she's like, oh, I just have school. I have classes. I'm very busy. And all that stuff. Order drink. No, order favorite drink. Watch her pick the most expensive drink. Sims love to do... Sims love to pick the most expensive drink. Like... But... What is this? Water? Okay, wait. Maybe Elizabeth isn't. Maybe I discover discover something new about Elizabeth. She doesn't like drinking. Her favorite drink is water, as as it should be though, because water is healthy for you. I mean, she does focus on wellness. She loves wellness. She loves self care. She loves taking care of herself. That's why she don't be drinking. But I feel like you could drink. Oh my. Wait. So, wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait, so many things happening. Wait, Elizabeth has a fear of people. Too many Sims in one place. Is this max capacity? Is this now a fire hazard? What if the ground opens up? Maybe it is time for Elizabeth to sneak out. Dang, that loner trait really got the loner in her is really getting to her. Like Elizabeth, you live. Where's the bathroom? She's probably like, I don't want to use the public restroom, but I'm going to have to. But Elizabeth's like, I didn't realize her. I feel like she's just very anxious. That's why she gets so tense around people. But now, since I have her outside socializing, well, not even socializing, but I just have her out. And now she got her fear of being in a crowded place. No, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have her order something from the food stall. Then we're gonna leave. We have to at least, you know, experience the San Maishuno way. So let's. What type of food they got here? Samosa. Ooh, okay. Let's get some pho. Get some pho. Eat it, and then we'll go. We won't have you. I won't have you stressing out here. Like, girl. She been paying attention to this guitarist, though. 
A busker? That's what they call it. Busking. He's busking. Maybe you could tip him? I'm surprised she didn't try to tip already, because you know how Sims are. Oh, he's gone. But, ooh, girl, what's your problem? You need to lose the tude. What's your attitude? Ooh. You know what? I, my face would look like that if some girl just came in front of me and started breathing out hot fire. You know what, girl? You got it. You got it. But, Elizabeth, you're taking awfully long to eat for a person. What is this? Oh, Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go back upstairs. Oh, is she got a tip? Ooh, he's good. This ain't Texas. What? What is what? Girl, why is your whole simussy out? Like, what? I would be making that face too if I lost my pants. You better find them. Like, the weather gets above 90 degrees and people start wilding out. Like, girl, please. Anyways, let's tip. <laughs> We're gonna tip him a calm 20? Here you go, sir. Here's $20. 20 simoleons, I mean. You think Kleptomatic can steal the money out of this? I don't know. Why are you sitting next to Elizabeth? She got no, she got no pants on. Let's go back upstairs. What oh, they got free food? She loves the performance. Wait, you enjoy, Elizabeth? Do you want to like talk to him or something? Like, nah, don't boot. Let's let's cheer. Yes, I loved it. Is he coming towards us? Oh, I was about to say. But that was great. Elizabeth, let's go home now. Why they got... Sir, I already tipped you like $20. Don't be greedy now. Okay, let's go home though, because it is 12 a.m. So, guess who woke up late because her alarm didn't go off because she forgot to set it. Yeah. <laughs> We usually, Elizabeth usually wakes up at 6 a.m., but her, I'm guessing her alarm was not working or she forgot to set it because it did not go off. That girl was slumped. Let's, do we have any, no. Let's make some breakfast. We got no, like, left, or brunch. Let's make some brunch. A nice BLT. Serve. Uh, okay, you know what? French toast. French toast. French toast. Okay, French toast. And look, literally as soon as I said we're going to clean Sunday, we get dust and dust bunny. Like, what if, what if Elizabeth had allergies or something? She about to start sneezing everywhere. But I don't want to clean today because tomorrow is officially cleaning day. So when cleaning day comes, that's when we're going to clean. Leave everything for the last minute. We need to practice writing. Oh, I didn't show y'all her skills or anything. But she maxed out the writing skill, of course. She's not in Foxberry. She is in the University of San Myshuno. My Myshuno University, that's where she goes. I wish... The name of your university changes depending on where you live. Like But you know, I'm not I'm not a game developer, so nah. But she maxed out the writing skill thanks to university. She's up there in the cooking skill. Wellness, of course, because she loves wellness. She does fitness because of the wellness skill, but yeah. And everything else. She's She's little hobbies, side hobbies. Oh, we have to finish our term paper for bowling. I, oh, I should have made her brush her teeth before she eats. 
Question, do y'all brush your teeth before you eat breakfast or you brush your teeth af- after? Me, personally, I brush my teeth before then I eat. Like, I I can't. Like, and don't quote me on this, but I heard if you're eating before brushing your teeth, then you're just swallowing all the bacteria left in your mouth. Don't quote me on this, though. This is what I heard. But yeah, Elizabeth, brush your teeth. Get all the blueberries and bread out of your out of the crevices clean that tongue oh she's about to vacuum herself she's like yeah i can't do it i can't do the dust she's like this dust gotta go my allergies are starting to act up i mean okay slay so today we're definitely going to have to publish 10 bucks i mean that's light work for Lizbeth, that's light work. For anyone else, I don't think they can handle that. Let's have you work on... No, let's... Let's start the bio... Yeah, start this. So, you could start it. Have some idea. Write some ideas down. Ooh, life in the court of the Queen of Hearts. Um... We're gonna name this, this for now, because I forgot the name. <laughs> Of the freelance job, but what was it? We're just gonna leave it like that. Really, in really important guy here. Okay, and what is that talking about? The queen. Oops. Okay, I'll I'll rename it. Maybe we can hit up Abigail and hang out with her. Go to the gym. Also, a new art gallery place opened up. Literally right, not across the street, but where is it? Where would you, where would y'all consider this? Literally right there, a new art gallery opened up, so we could like check that out. It's like a bar mixed with an art gallery. So yeah, D this girl be writing quick, like she focused. That calming tea focused her up. She's locked in, and she's ready to. Right. Period. <laughs> Maybe I should give y'all like a proper, a proper room, room, a proper house tour. Okay, let me. Here's where you walk in. You walk in. You see the kitchen. You see this board over here that Lizbeth uses to write her deadlines. Some pictures, coupons, whatever she finds. She has her umbrella and her vacuum. She has the kitchen. Appliances pink, table pink, chairs pink. But, you know, she can't change everything else because that's a part of the apartment, obviously. Oh, and fire alarm, thermostat. Her little hallway. Rug. Pictures. Are these on the aren't even on the same level y'all don't mind that and here you have the entrance of the living room her little fireplace i didn't even know you could fit fireplaces in these tiny apartments but yeah this space is cozy and nice you could sit up here and read some books more books i mean well more books this is the first time you've seen the books but here's this little what would you call this like console table you have a nice lamp you have aroma scents incense that's how you say it right yeah <laughs> here you have her couch she got no pillows on her couch no throw pillows on nothing what was that anyways you got the tv the nintendo switch the ac and her little office area her work area as i would call it with all the books lined up and everything with more pictures she got her mac her little stanley cup period her little journal that she barely touches yet she's writing all day here's her bathroom more pink stuff more pink stuff i mean more <laughs> what the washing machines are black. Yo! 
these events are scaring me. Oh my gosh. Pink laundry basket. Pink, white, black, yeah. <laughs> like, let me get out of this bathroom. Anyways, here's her bedroom. She has all the aura pictures up. She got them off of Pinterest. No, not Pinterest. She got them off of Simtrist. Yup. Cute little bedding. More stuff. Her little side table. She has another tumbler. Her phone. She always leaves her phone in her bedroom. A candle. Magazine. And her alarm clock and an extra pair of glasses. Because my girl is blind. My poor girl be staring at the screen for how long she need them glasses. Period. But yeah, that's the space. I'm getting better at decorating, y'all. But she's actually only... Did, I, did the house tour take that long? Like, she's already almost finished. But we're gonna wait until 5 o'clock to hit up Abigail and be like, Hey, do you want to check out that new place just open, like, down downstairs? Yeah, let's see. If Abigail isn't working... Does Abigail have work today? we know she's back home i was about to say she works every day i mean she's a trainer but dang they got her her clients got her work oh girl ha, Zeus. speaking of abigail okay so we're here next door and i forgot abigail had a roommate let's just do a little friendly introduction be like hey i'm friends with abigail i know we didn't meet yeah. But let's talk to Abigail. Let's be like, Abigail, wait! Abigail. Girl, let's go. What are you talking about? Oh, wait! Wait, Elizabeth! Are you, are you talking on your own? Like, is she cool? Are her vibes okay? Oh, never mind. She just got it. I'm about to say... Hey girl, how was work? It was good. It was difficult. Dag dag. Who? Why is everyone here? But yeah, do you want to go down to that little bar down there? Oh, they just became good friends. Period. Okay, let's go down to that bar. They have like an art gallery. I think it'd be nice. And Abigail's like, yeah, let's go. I need the drink. So, we're at the old salt house, and this is a lot renovated by Ashley Plays. So, thank you, Ashley. Like, this is such a gorgeous lot. And I think this lot is, like, an art gallery and a bar type mix. So, let's... Oh! Why I be so surprised when I see one of my other sims in here? Like, yes, girl. <laughs> but let's go inside. Also, I... One thing I don't like about the old salt house, like, even in the base game, like, why is the entrance in the back? I'm sorry, I'm not gonna have my sim walk all the way into the back just to go inside. Also, I don't have the music turned up because I heard you can get freaking copyrighted. Oh my gosh. Be funny in a crowded place. Oh, she's trying to... Okay, let's go upstairs, though. Is that Bob Pancakes? Did he quit his job as a chef to become a mixed solid to become a bartender? Bob, did Eliza finally put you out? Like what what is going on? You had such a good job. I mean, a bartender is a good job too, don't get me wrong. Man, Abigail, sit down. Let's get a drink. I'm gonna order you a drink. Order drink for group. What should we get? Let's Nothing too crazy, like, I gotta wake up early tomorrow. Let's get a virgin, yeah. But let's be funny. Let's tell her a funny story. Let's tell Abigail a funny story, like, girl, tell me why this one boy in my university class got yelled at by the professor. Like, that was so embarrassing. I was embarrassed for him. She has the whim to be funny, but she wants to be alone. She's so real for that, like, try- Oh, wait, okay, come sit right here. Do not talk to Marcus Flex. 
trying to overcome her fear of being in a crowded place, but also wanting to be alone. Like, for real. Less. Abigail, where are you going? Where is the funny? You know what? Let's talk to Marcus. Like, hey, the chat is going nice. Like, she's probably like, yeah, you know what? Let me just force myself to get through this. Do an impression or something. Is he leaving? Blah, blah, blah. Did he find that funny? Did I, I can't believe Abigail left us. Like, she about to order another drink. Girl, no. We got work. She trying to fire her up. Do you be working out, Marcus? I could tell you got, like, the bicep. He do. He is an active sim. Support Mark Marcus's facial hair. Okay. I mean, I guess. Let's discuss fitness techniques like Marcus, do you be doing squats? Like how often should I be doing the squats? Like, you know, I'm going for the big butt. Like I'm going for the natural BBL without getting the BBL. Not at being singles night. Wait, is that our is that our landlord? This sim. He is the landlord. Let's do a friendly introduction to the landlord. Be like Hey, the apartment is going great. Everybody, okay, okay, Elizabeth aside, Elizabeth storyline aside, everybody is in love with the landlord. Like, I know he's fine, but like, everybody? Stefan, what? Why are you so popular with the ladies? And guess what night it is? It's singles night. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. Describe. Hey, don't, don't you dare walk away from me. Let's talk to Marcus. Let's chat about the paintings actually, because it is an art. It is an art gallery. So like, yeah. Did you see the painting? The paintings downstairs. They're actually pretty nice. I think they're cute. Oh, think well. I'm not a painter, I'm a writer, but I know when I see creativity, and that is creativity. Let's tell a joke. Oh, she's telling a joke! Okay, wait, tell a joke about penguins. Peng penguins? What? But let's really talk about penguins, though, like penguins? Ooh, comedy, girl! Is this her coming out of her shell? Like, so Elizabeth is home now and she's finishing. I wouldn't say not finishing, but editing her term paper for her bowling class. And why did I put her in a bowling class as an elective? Why not? You know, one day she might go to bowling and she'll know how to bowl. Yeah. But I want to mention, look at her first class. It's called Antisocial Authors. Elizabeth, that's literally you. <laughs> like, that's literally her. So, it's Wellness Day today. It's a new day. <gasps> Wait! He died? Bakel died? No! Katrina and Marcus in the Flex household delivered a baby. Katrina Caliente. Baby. Jeez. She be getting it all. With Marcus Flex, I just met him last night. That man was getting going out for drinks and his wife was in labor. I'm crying. But yeah, it's wellness day. And Lizbeth already cleaned the freaking house even before the day came. But we have to appreciate an object, cleaning, and a resolution. And I think today we're going to go to the gym too, but not for too long. Because we have to finish our turn paper and we have to finish that book. We're going to boil some tea. Get that calming tea again because that guy is focused and locked in. And she needs to be focused and locked in. Oh, she already starting off with the cleaning. Uh, The toothpaste. The toothpaste? Yeah, that's right. The toothpaste probably stained it or something. Girl, hold on. Boil some tea. 
boil the kettle, get you some tea, and then get you some leftovers. French toast, period. Have I ever had French toast? I think probably once... I think probably once in my life I've had French toast, but I feel like that once in my life was so long ago that I don't even remember having it or what it tastes like. What are our bills looking like? Oh, our bills are good. See, we live, in, we live in this lovely apartment and all we have to do is pay... Oh, not apply to ever... All we have to do is pay like $100. Almost 200, like, imagine. If only life was like that right now. We should go jogging. Instead of, like, going to the gym, though. Because the gym might have a lot of... The gym is going to have a lot of people, and... She has the fear of... We're going to write a book, of course. The resolution is always... The goal in life for Elizabeth is to always write a book. But I think we're just going to go on a jog. Because... The gym is going to feel, be filled with so much people, especially on Wellness Day. But I need to order something. Is it earbuds? Earbuds. Let's get white or pink. Pink. So change into your... Let's change into the pink outfit. Period. Cute. She got her glasses on. As always. Blind girlies unite. I'm one of them. Got my glasses on right now. Let's listen to easy listening, period. And let's go jogging. But one thing the fitness pack did give us is an opportunity to multitask. Because not only is she getting her fitness on, her fun is also going out from listening to music, bro. She jogging. Okay. All right, send my shoe no. All right. You are not chatting to anyone knowing yourself. Ooh! Wait! See, Lizbeth, she's getting better because she haggled and she got a discount. Now she getting empadadas for $8 instead of 9 Plus, you're not even giving me enough empanadas for- Ooh. Look at my sims! <laughs> my sims are so fine, like, jeez! Michaela and my girl Sierra. Like that that right there is that's mother. Why are all my Sims blonde? I just realized that. Most of my Sims are blonde. <laughs> Guys, it's not what you think. Please. Why is she Wait, okay, Lizbeth, she's putting herself in positions where she has to socialize. Oh, she's sweaty. Oh girl, we're going straight to the showers after this. Oh, Oh, she she looking at me like, ooh, girl, you kind of, you kind of sweaty, but I get it. Oh, look at her. She got her royalty money. And I was like, one, the flea market is town? Okay. Put her in her home clothes. She don't got hair. What else does she need to do? Appreciate an object. What should she appreciate? She should appreciate her computer. Cause girl, this computer took you how far? Wait, she got. She got. She don't got much to appreciate though. Let's like. Let's just view. Well, appreciate this. Like, let's complete this whim too. Like, let's practice. Practice writing. Abigail! No, girl. I got work. Look at her about to troll people. This is her work to troll people. Let's, let's go to hobbies and skill, right? Resume writing. There it is. Bro, why are there so many events going on? And why did the book restart? Hello, we were just finished? Sims, fix it right now because she was literally almost finished writing the book this bug has been going on for so long because when i looked up a fix for it it's been i've been seeing like comments from like four years later or something like that four years ago not later four years ago still having this problem like bro why are my books restarting when she literally almost finished and i wanted her to do like her 
Abigail, Abigail, you give someone an inch and they take a mile. Like, girl, we just became friends. We just became good friends. I understand that, but you know, oh. you, we, I asked you to hang out yesterday. We went to hang out and you stayed for the drink that I bought you and you just dipped on me. Like, girl. I had to talk to Marcus Flex, and I just found out that man had a baby with Miss Katrina Caliente. No, I'm sorry. She's not even Caliente anymore. She's Katrina Flex. I mean, I guess that's cool. Another thing about Elizabeth, that girl don't stay on campus. That girl go home. I mean, that girl go home. She go to school and come straight home. Like, she just like me for real. I don't be staying on campus. I'll be going to class and then go straight home. This is why I have no friends in universe. <laughs> this is why I have no fr I made one friend. I made one. And that's going to be the only friend I got. And ignore any loud noise in the background because my upstairs neighbors, as soon as they get home from work, bro, it's like a war up there. Like, what is going on? What tables are you dropping from 10 feet high? How are y'all liking Lisbeth so far? Like... Are y'all feeling her? I love her. Like, I feel like she's me. Except, excluding the ambitious, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I'm not ambitious, but like, I be lazy. And Elizabeth, she is not lazy. That girl, get up out of bed at 6 o'clock, a.m. every morning. She cook herself breakfast. And she goes straight on the computer and start doing her work. Me, I wait the last minute. <laughs> and guess what? I still be passing. With a good grade, too. Period. <laughs> yeah. If y'all like her, maybe y'all see more of her. But I'm not doing anything back-to-back -back with her because, you know, I'm trying to, like, fall in love with the game again. Like, I love The Sims, but the other day, like, last week, I've been playing it, and I don't know. It just hasn't been hitting the same. Like, I thought buying a new pack would suffice, but I guess not. Is that even the word? It don't, it don't matter. Oh, anyway, she finished writing the book. Yay! <laughs> Let's change the name of this. Where? Oh. She trolling again. She trolling, right? She trolling. Stop it. You know, we're going to pause this. Okay, what should we name it? Really important guy here. You know what? We're going to name it that. Rename. Let's okay. Really important guy here. This is a biography about <laughs> oh about a really important guy. Period. Yep. Let's send it to a client. Okay. Sent a client for approval. She could study that. Ooh, that's cool. Also, she's not gonna have the freelance job for long because she still has to draft up her own books. But it's really just for some side cash, especially for university because she doesn't get a lot of. Wait, yes, yeah, she does. I'm about to say she doesn't. She doesn't get a lot of money from scholarships, but recently she did because of. One of her skills, I think. I forgot, but she does get enough money from for scholarship. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys loved loved Lizbeth or like enjoy her a little bit, like her little backstory. Like she is going to be the best selling author. Or the novelist. She's gonna be a novelist, yes. Self publishing, period. Independent woman. She's getting her degree. Absolutely she's getting her degree. I'll post her graduation pics when she graduates. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you have a good day. Bye. <laughs>